Hello children, today we shall learn about one of the biggest problem in earth. Do you know what is so special about the mother earth? This is the only planet where life exists because scientists have not found any other planet with life yet. In fact, scientists have not found any planet with water and oxygen where human beings can live. But we often hear about pollution, global warming etc which is destroying the environment of earth. Where would we go if our only homes become unlivable? As we saw in the story, the globe that Aman had was changed in his nightmare. That globe had lesser land than the real globe. That is, more land got submerged in the water. You know, if no further actions are taken now, due to the rising temperature every day, one day the polar ice would melt. Then sea water will increase and sea will take over many islands. So that nightmare can become true someday. Isn't it scary children? The global warming is caused by pollution. Not only global warming, many diseases, suffering, shortage of drinking water etc are gift of pollution monster which is making our world miserable. There is someone who is feeding this pollution monster. Any guess who? It is garbage. You must have seen garbage piling, spreading smell beside roads. We throw away what is useless or worthless for us. Those we call garbage. But what we throw away is changing our world. Everyone wants to keep his home clean. So many of them collect all garbage and throw them in some field beside the road or evenly in lakes and that garbage is taking over our world. We all love nice parks with fountain and green trees but in Amman's nightmare it was all dirty spoiled by the garbage. Think again children not only in nightmare you can see plastics paper scattered around in parks field even in lakes not only it is making them bad but also polluting the fresh air of the surroundings. Did you see that sick girl in Aman's nightmare? Waste from factory as well as home make ponds, lake, rivers polluted and the water scarcity and the waterborne diseases make us suffer. Thus, not only our home is getting troubled, we are getting troubled. It wasn't just only a nightmare, but could turn into reality if we continue to ignore problems like pollution and the garbage. Few of us just put all garbage together in garbage truck and think our job is over. But garbage trucks also pile up that garbage in some land called landfill. The landfill gets overloaded with garbage and then trucks need to search for new lands to put the garbage. Thus, land after land is taken away for landfills, that is for garbage. So livable lands on earth are shrinking for us because no one can live on heap of garbage. So we are producing and then ignoring garbage. but. That garbage is destroying our world. We can't stop using things. So what can be done with the garbage we produce? We can't send it to another planet. It has to stay on earth. Right children? But we can stop it from harming our environment. We should take responsibility of garbage that we produce. We can shrink or reduce the problem. That is the garbage. How? Garbage is not always useless or harmful. You know, we can convert a lot of garbage to something useful. Amman was doing the same 
in the story aman dug a pit in soil at some place in the garden then he put garbage like vegetable waste fruit peels paper leaves weeds tea leaves etc in the pit why because all these waste decay and then it mixes with soil and makes the soil richer in fact all the garbage derived from organic matters decay and it is called biodegradable garbage but aman didn't put waste containing oil salt meat and milk product etc otherwise bad germs would grow in the pit then he sprinkled little water on waste and covered pit loosely with leaves branches soil so that air could come in what happens next the microbes will break down the garbage and it will turn into manure that manure is called compost so he was doing composting it takes around 4 weeks of time but compost can make soil very rich we can use pit to dump garbage and in every 3 to 4 days we need to gently turn over the top layer so that all garbage get enough air and moisture for rotting if we do a simple thing the compost will become richer just add some earthworm in the pit if you put red worm which is a type of earthworm it will make composting faster and compost will be richer in nutrient this is called vermi composting after composting the substance in pit would reduce to almost half so we are not only reducing garbage we are reducing garbage into a useful substance which would help trees to grow and make your world more beautiful so we see composting and vermi composting is a nice way to get the best out of waste at the end let us think little wisely we can feed leftover vegetable curry waste to helpless stray animals or pets thus a lot of garbage is used for good purpose thus reuse of garbage would make our earth better not worse that's all for today bye bye children